What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me again on my channel. In today's video, I will share with you some key takeaways I learned from Wolf Trades DVD. And I know if you stay tuned to the end, you're gonna learn some key takeaways yourself to improve your own strategy. Stay tuned. So number one, he believes that day one for longing has the best risk reward. Because he's been trading for quite a while and he explains that over time, he has found that if you hold for day two, more times than not, you're gonna be stopped out. It doesn't continue going forward. And it's just not as rewarding. And the odds are not as much in your side. And that's what this game is about, putting the odds on your side. Now, I know this is a simple number one rule, but this in itself can change your strategy because if you're longing on day two, day three, he even says day three is just ridiculous. Day four, you're gambling. So day one is the most important. Number two, that's gonna be catalyst you got to have a catalyst. Now, I come from a short bias, and every time I try to long, it just doesn't turn out well. But his key takeaway from this video is catalyst means everything. It is the fuel to the vehicle to get it going. I stole that actually from another friend of mine, the fuel part, to another friend of mine who trades. His name is Brax Hux. Shout out to you, Tyson. That being said, that is the fuel to get the car going. you got to have some kind of engine right you gotta have some kind of ignition or whatever and now i'm losing analogies here but you gotta have some fuel and so a catalyst is important now the catalyst doesn't need to be specific he doesn't say it has to be an earnings winner he doesn't say it has to be x y z as long as it has a catalyst that can be shared and it's it can easily a link that can be shared that's great and the reason that's great is because now you have tons of people looking at it and the more people involved the better chances it has for other people to buy and that's going to help push your long position even further so you can sell the top so you know there's a catalyst you know it's day one of the move it's already gapping up it's gapping up about 25 percent has some good volume we talked about that in previous videos so make sure you look at that why volume is important and so forth but to get back to it you know there's a catalyst you know that it actually is day one of the move Number three, you gotta do your research, okay? You gotta look up if there's any warrants. Warrants are can literally stop the momentum of a trade. Warrants, let's say there's warrants at a price of $2 and your stock is at 180. That means when it gets to around $2, those warrants become activated and they can start to sell off shares. Now, I don't know all the details to the specifics, but I know about warrants and I use those a lot when it comes to shorting, they help me out a ton. So it just makes sense that he puts this in the DVD on why you want to make sure you avoid those for longing. So here's the thing, how to look up warrants, that's a whole different video in itself. And he goes into very good detail in his DVD. So definitely, definitely check it out if you want to learn from him. He gives some great advice. I actually learned a ton from that DVD on warrants. He gives you keywords to look up, but then, then breaks it down on what it means and why it's important. But you got to find out, are there warrants? Because if there's a warrants overhead, your odds significantly start to drop. Now, if the warrants are like at $4 and then the stock's at one, well, you have some wiggle room there. And he explains that. Now, the fourth one is resistance, overhead resistance. You might have learned this from Tim Grittani in his DVD, which I did a review on, on trading tickers. Make sure to go check that one out too. But that being said, overhead resistance is so key. It's so important. It's just as important as warrants, if not more, because you can see it easily on the chart. You pull up a daily chart. Here's a quick tip. Pull up a daily chart. If you look at a yearly chart and you see that on the chart over here on the left-hand side, on your computer, the left-hand side is going to be uh, another, maybe another spike with huge volume. And if you see that spike with huge volume and it topped out, that's overhead resistance, wherever it topped out. So if that top, if you're close to that, that means you got, you can't just predict and say, oh, I think it's going to bust through. You got to assume that the odds are not in your favor that's going to bust through that top unless the volume is ridiculously huge and overwhelms the previous resistance volume which Stephen ducks goes over in his dvd in terms of the importance of volume and i actually go over that too in another video there's a lot of videos that are all miggling together so definitely check those out but you got to make sure there's no over resistance no warrants you got to have a catalyst and it needs to be day one all of these are reasons why you should long a stock. Now, even if you're not a long player, this is so important because I'm a short seller and this has helped me avoid longing certain setups because 
If it's a great long setup for Rolling Wolf, then it's not a good short setup for me unless it gets to key levels. Now, that's why, you know, I'll have people comment below, you can short and long, doesn't matter. It's, it is true in some cases, but the odds are not on your side. So remember, catalyst, day one, make sure there's no warrants, make sure there is no overhead resistance. Those four together will help you in your longing game and up your win percentage and help you become profitable. Again, stay tuned for the next episode next week because I'm going to keep releasing these. And I appreciate you commenting and the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to keep this content up. I really love trading and I just love doing this to help out the community. Take care. And I don't know if you see this here. I actually fucking pricked my finger. Anyway, um, it's another story.